So, you just updated the Gbox Q, and now you're saying, hey, wait a second, where did all my apps go? That's right. When you do a firmware update, it's going to blank everything out. You know, no matter how elaborate you had everything set up already, it's going to go away. So you might, you know, hopefully have a backup of your Kodi. If not, you're going to get this nice big blank, empty Gbox screen. But it's easy to fill it up. First of all, you want to go into your apps and see what's there. And there's not a lot. It's actually most of the basic stuff. You're going to get a firmware updated. That's the basic media player that's on like all these Android boxes. That's your music, your local music if you got it. Media Center is actually cool. It's uh, we'll, we'll talk about this more later. But you can use these settings to, like, for instance, if you've, I've got a play-on server, you go into the DNL, DLNA, and that'll pull that right up. It also has a way to mirror, like, an iOS device right here. So we'll show you some of that stuff later. Otherwise, you got your Google Play Store and, you know, shortcuts, basically. So, outside of YouTube, this starts off pretty blank. So, where do you get Kodi? Well, that's easy. Go to your browser. We have already signed in to these guys. Skip that. And what we're going to do is go right to the source and say Kodi.tv. Boom. We're using the A2 Lite Air Mouse here. That's where the cursor comes from. I highly recommend Air Mouses if you're going to use an Android box. All right. Right now, the most current release is 16.0. So this video is automatically dated. I might as well say, you know, we'll never have anything better than 4K. All right, it's downloading. And when you're downloading on this, it's going to go on in the background. So we're just going to get out. And we're going to go ahead and go to like the Google Play Store. Pick up some Google Play stuff. Grab some Netflix. Install. Accept. And it's installed. Very good. You should be able to get out of there. All right, it's all set. We'll grab Hulu. Huku. Not Hulu. Bop, 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 bop. There we are. Install. You notice it's Hulu and not Hulu Plus. They dropped that set up a while back. Installing. Come on now. All right. We're set. And let's maybe grab Plex. I love Plex. I know you think, oh, well, you've already got Cody. Why do you need Plex? They're very different. And they both do what they do very well. All right. So we grabbed a couple of my favorite little players. And uh, next, I think I want to add probably my favorite media browser, ES File Explorer. This is a, a file browser that you might be familiar with already, but the best thing about it is that it allows you to access anything like, say, your 
you know, your your email, it'll it'll get your you know things like Google Docs, Google Drive, Dropbox, and so it makes it easy to transfer things over. Maybe do a little side loading. All right, so there we are. So that stuff is downloaded. Okay, next what we're going to do is go on in to the settings because in order to add Cody you need to access oops I always go to the wrong one you need to go into settings system settings and advanced settings you need to go to security and restrictions and turn on this allow installation of apps from unknown sources because when you get things from a website you're of course getting it from a source that it doesn't know technically so we get out of that And we're going to go to all apps. And this is where the app installer comes in very handy. Take a look. Click right here. And you've got the SD card and the local disk. We went ahead and downloaded Kodi from the internet. So that's going to be on the local disk. External storage card has our firmware and stuff like that. So since this is the APK installer, all it's going to read is Kodi. So we click on it and install. Watch the little turquoise line fly by. We're going to accept. And this should be ready to go in just a second. App installed. We're just going to say done. Now, this is starting to look a little bit more lifelike, but you probably want to go ahead and set this up to make a little more sense. So I'll go to Edit Rows, and where you have videos, let's actually put video stuff in there. We've already got Cody, let's add Netflix, Hulu. Plex. Let's see, am I doing the right thing here? Let's see. Here we go, yeah, Netflix, Hulu, or Plex. So now we've got videos there. We don't really have any music apps just yet, so let's add Pandora. Work, install. Set and installing. If I remember correctly, we don't have to stare at it for it to finish installing. We'll add, yeah, there it goes. We'll add iHeartRadio. And let's see, how about Spotify? Since it's right there, right? And you know what? I like karaoke. Might even do some later on. Not in this video. Okay, so we're downloading that stuff. Let's see, we got this, this, this. Still waiting on Spotify. So now we'll hit up music. And we'll add iHeartRadio. Pandora. Looks like the rest of them are not here yet. But already, you can sort of see this taking form. See, the screen's starting to fill up. 
This latest app is just going to be based on whatever you've messed with. But videos is going to have you know, all your videos, music. And something I like to do is I like to have a row of sort of controls. So under favorites, I actually like to put things like the app installer, this, like my apps. You know, like it, it kind of like feels like a uh, like a browser almost. Firmware updater. It says this is sort of like a control panel. Your store, your browsers, your file browsers. And down here, you can put whatever you want. Or you can just take them out. singing thing. Yeah, you can take some things out of it. But in general, see now the the screen's starting to take a little form, a little personality. And that's sort of how you give your G-Box uh, you know, a, a look. You know, it's up something to match who you are and what you're looking for here. And you see as we've added things, the menu on the side has grown. The apps work just fine. There we go. Zoom. Do, 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 do. Hey, Cody. And everything else, of course, you have to go through the trouble of signing in on everything, and I don't really feel like signing in everything. Uh, by the way, there's something I noticed in uh, Jarvis that I like, at least on this setup, is you don't accidentally – you can't accidentally – back out by hitting like the the back button so that's nice to, do, to leave you actually have to leave so there we are now you know how to get your home screen looking the way you want it i hope you found this helpful if you did please subscribe and share this with your friends i'm ryan downey the streaming advisor stream on my friends